what is going on how are you today in this video I'm going to be telling you about sleep and more importantly how you can fix your sleep so let's get into it Steve here and before we get started if you're new here make sure you subscribe for all the latest fitness and lifestyle content and if you're not new here you'll know that this is Mindset on the Move. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the importance of sleep. I'm going to tell you three things that I've learned about sleep that made me prioritize it so much more in my fitness journey. These are three crazy things I found out that just changed how I think about sleep entirely. You're going to learn that sleep is a force multiplier. This was one of the main things I found out and completely changed my view on sleep. You also find out that lack of sleep can make you up to 14% stupider. 14%! Like, stupider! Yeah. Lastly, we're going to be talking about the effect that sleep can have on your gains. So if you're working hard in the gym and not sleeping right, what's that got to do with each other? Who cares? What happens in bed versus what happens in the gym? It's actually a lot more important than you think. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because not only am I going to be telling you the things I learned about sleep, I'm going to be telling you the secrets I found out that you can implement tonight to fix your sleep once and for all. The first crazy thing I found out about sleep is that sleep is what's known as a force multiplier. Now, what does that mean? It means that the noticeable results you get from whatever diet or fitness journey you're on they're multiplied by sleep. So if you're trying to gain muscle and you're sleeping right, you will gain muscle faster. You'll be able to notice muscle gain faster. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to get that six pack after photo abs, if you're sleeping properly, you'll notice those results faster. Equally, however, if you're eating absolute shit, you're gaming all the time, you're not exercising, you're not following a good diet or a workout plan, and your sleep is shot if you're pulling all-nighters then the results you'll see from that will be amplified as well so if you're gaining fat or you're getting acne or things you want to not happen they'll happen more if you're not sleeping properly so if you want to fix all these things fix your sleep I know I've been to college I know pulling all-nighters to get work done or pulling all-nighters to finish assignments or essays or even just hanging out and going out all night yeah that's a great great idea at the time but this has serious serious health effects that I'd never even thought of when I was doing it one study out of Chicago showed that two groups with the same calorie deficit diet calorie deficit diet sounds weird Fifty five percent. If somebody told me tomorrow that I could just do one thing and it would improve my results by fifty five percent, I'd be doing it all the time. Imagine if they told you that if you changed your squat or you changed your bench technique, just just how you did it, that that would improve your results by fifty five percent. You'd do it straight away. But that's what I'm telling you about sleep. If you fix your sleep, all your results will be improved. It's a force multiplier. So the amount of sleep isn't as important as you think. Everyone's got their own number, whether it's five, six, seven, eight hours of sleep, whatever you need. But it's not about how much, it's about how good the sleep is. So you need to get quality sleep as well as quantity. The same a lack of quality diet, sleep they were on can a fat actually loss journey, make you up to 14% stupid. One group was 14%. on eight hours sleep a night and the other group was on five and a half hours sleep. There was a study published and showed the group two that was restricted in sleep, one group actually lost 55% one group less properly fat than the group that slept properly. They were given menial tasks to do the next day, and the group that were sleep deprived took 14% longer to do everything and made 22% more mistakes. Now, the science says that this is due to a lack of glucose in the prefrontal cortex, blah blah blah. Science literally means. 14% less brain power, 14% deficiency in the prefrontal cortex. 
And this is the area responsible for decision making and even social decision making. When was the last time you were up all night and did something stupid? Yeah, it's not because of the alcohol or whatever other things you were up to that night. It's because you were sleep deprived. You were 14% stupider at the time. The next thing we're talking about in terms of high quality sleep is a thing called HGH, human growth hormone. Now you may have heard of, heard of this from things like anabolic steroid use and it is the same hormone but it can be produced naturally. In fact, it's the hormone you want to produce to build muscle. So deep proper sleep produces HGH and this means the gains you make, you make gains in bed, you don't make gains in the gym. When was the last time you came out of a gym session feeling stronger? Like an absolute killer proper leg day. When was the last time you jumped out of that feeling the strongest you were at? Never. You're actually at your weakest, you're at your worst point after a gym session. The actual anabolic growth comes from the sleep that night. So there are two benefits to this production of HGH. First of all, it protects the muscle you've already built. So sleeping properly means you don't lose muscle, but it also builds muscle. So not only are you protecting what you already have, you're growing more muscle on top of it while you sleep. That is the easiest workout ever. Literally sleep and gain muscle. Why not? Like what, what excuse do you have to not sleep properly? Human growth hormone production is at its highest when you're a kid. So that's why children are so full of energy and always growing. They are producing the most human growth hormone of their lives because they're that young. Now, as we grow up, we stay up later, we drink a lot of caffeine, things like this that affect our sleep and that affects our human growth hormone production. So if we try and recapture some of that by sleeping properly, it'll change everything about our gains. So I'm about to tell you the secrets I learned in order to improve my sleep during my journey. But just before that, a quick recap. What we learned today is sleep is a force multiplier, meaning if you're trying to gain muscle or lose weight, if you fix your sleep, these things will happen faster. The force of weight loss or the force of muscle gain will be multiplied by good sleep. Secondly, we figured that if you pull all-nighters or you're not sleeping properly, you are actually 14% stupider, like you're losing brain power. 14% reduction in glucose in the prefrontal cortex means you make poorer decisions and you are 14% stupider. Lastly, we looked at sleep as a way of producing human growth hormone, which is the essential hormone for all bodybuilders, anyone who wants to gain muscle. If you're not sleeping properly, you are not producing enough HGH and you will not build muscle. Simple as, fix it. So how do you fix it? How do you sleep better? It's not about sleeping more, it's about sleeping better. First thing, screens. Get your phone out of your face before you go to bed. If you're staying up all night scrolling, you won't sleep properly. Just, it's as simple as about an hour before bed, put the phone on charge, put it away, you'll instantly sleep better. You're getting less blue light straight into your face. The blue light from your phone activates all sorts of parts of your brain that even though your body's shutting down to go to sleep, your brain is alive, it is fully awake. And that's because of your screen. Just put it away, easy as. Another tip is cool down. Your body needs to be colder to sleep. Doesn't sound right, especially for those of us who are cold humans, but your body's happier when it's cooled down. If it's too hot, you won't sleep. Your ideal room temperature is about 16 to 20 degrees. Like, I wouldn't worry about that too much, but the one trick I found in order to cool yourself down before bed is about an hour or two before bed, have a hot shower or a hot bath. Once you get out of that bath or shower, your body will start cooling down naturally. And by the time you get into bed at whatever, the two hours later, your body will have cooled down enough to be ready to sleep. So if you need to cool down, have your shower at night. It'll help you sleep better. Another easy tip that I found out is exercise in the mornings. Don't have a late gym session. Like if you need to get up early and get your workout out of the way, that is the best time to do it. If you're getting up at eight, nine in the morning, go for your run, get your session in. Start working out early in the morning. This will actually lead to 75% deeper sleep when you go to bed that night. If you're up early and you're active, you will sleep better. 
Easy as that. Now that you appreciate how important sleep is in your fitness journey, it's time to start implementing these fixes. Let me know in the comments which ones you're going to try out. I'm going to be putting my phone away before bed. I need better sleep. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to talk about on next week's Mindset on the Move. I'll see you in the next video. <sighs> Rest of the Mindset Monday playlist is up top. Bottoms what YouTube wants you to watch next. Happy sleeping, guys.